So guys, I want to use this medium to wish you guys a happy month um, of September. I want to use um, this medium to wish you guys a happy new month of trading. Um, like I said earlier on, we are going to be looking at um, just the monthly um, forecast for some of these forest pairs and um, gold and also um, what we have on US oil. This is very essential because it allows us to look at the broader view on what we actually have in the market rather than um, capitalizing on this small movement we have. So. Um, coming into this uh, monthly forest forecast, we are going to be looking at the XY. The XY is first on our own list, which is going to allow us to look at what is going to happen on a broader and a longer term on um, the dollar index, which we are going to also look at for the other pairs. So without saying much, I wish you guys a very, very prosperous um new month of trading today is first of um, september 2024 so um, make sure you watch this video to the latter make sure you grab every information you need because this month is about to start and this month is going to be a very very great month if you follow what i am telling you on this forest market just pay attention and listen to me and let's flow along and make money for this new month. So first I have my list. We have the XY, which is um, which we also know as the US dollar index, which um, we use to determine the um, strength on the other base currencies um, paired to the United States dollar. So looking at the DXY on the monthly time frame, we know that the overall direction is to the upside. We know that the overall direction is to the upside and then um looking at what we have on the x y on the monthly time frame um i have these markings on the chart because this allows me to look at the broader range which i'm trading in so imagine from here from this point to here we have roughly about um we have roughly about 500 pips which allows me to capitalize from this point to this point because um, the essence of swing trading is to take advantage of the um, the range we have in the market. You know, the market um, trends 40% of the time and then consolidate 60% of the time. So when the market is trending, we want to look at a broader range, we want to look at a broader um want to look at this at a broader um specific in the market so if we are trading from this point here sorry if we are trading from this point here we know that definitely the market is going to come all the way um to this point here and then if we are trading from this point we know that the market is going to come all the way um to this point so imagine you entering a position from this point here and then taking a profit from this point. this allows you to just look at other things you know to just focus on other things which are um are also important in your life like um trading also so let's look at the monthly time frame on what we have on the xy so the xy no doubt the overall trend of this market is definitely to the upside as we can see on the on the market and then i have this ascending channel from the monthly time frame which we have been seeing price respecting for a very very long time now so the last one we did was um we did around um we did around september 2022 which we are expecting price to come all the way um to this down part here but for the meantime we're going to look at the lower time frames also see um, the pullbacks which we can also take advantage so for this month we are expecting solely pullbacks to this level here before we can see the um um the dollar in the skyrocketing to the upside again you can see my counter trend line is strong from this point across this point so we are still waiting for the market to have a another touch on this trend line which is we had the first touch we have the second touch and then we are still expecting the third touch so for the whole of september we are anticipating further push down 
to this trend line here yeah, before we see a break of this counter trend line which we drew from the monthly time frame um to continue the uptrend on the dollar index so looking on the weekly time frame and what we have on the xy we are currently pulling back from a prior area of support prior area of support and then also a prior area of resistance, which is the 100.000. So this is what I always say. This is what I always say that um, these points, these psychological levels in the market helps you to know exactly where to take your own profit. So imagine you are trading from this zone here to this zone. This is roughly about 500 or 1,000 pips. So you sold from here and then you're taking your profit from here. This is this is how swing trading works and i want you guys to understand that this is how swing trading works so for the whole of um september for the whole of september we are anticipating further push down on the dollar index we don't mind if the market is pulling back we don't mind if the market is pulling back but solely we are going to be anticipating further push down to this level before we get a further break above of this counter trend line we drew from the monthly time frame. So this is what I'm expecting on the X5 um, for the month of September. If that happens, then um, we'll be waiting for further push up um, to the upside. Meanwhile, for the meantime, we are also um, currently pulling back into a prior area of um, resistance, into a um, prior area of support to be used as a resistance as a case maybe so this is my own bias for dxy waiting for the market to continue selling all the way um so uh, we have all the way to 96.673 price point in the market so for the xy we for the whole of september we should be looking at the downside for the dollar index as the case may be no doubt we are anticipating we are solely anticipating a further movement to the third touch of this uh, ascending trend line from the monthly time frame. So this is a very, very simple setup. I don't want to complicate um, anything at all. I don't want to tell you guys that for um, we are going to we are going to be buying and selling at the same time. No, 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 not at all. We are going to focus on the selling side of the XY. If there is any trade opportunity on this, I'm going to send it. Um, directly into the WhatsApp group where we share our own trade um, ideas and then take advantage of what we have spoken about on the monthly um, forest forecast and also some other um, currencies like the gold and then US oil. So this is my own bias for this month of September. We are anticipating further push down, further push down. We don't know how far this pullback may be, but then I don't really care anything that happens. If you are looking at the, you are looking at the um, daily time frame. Now the daily time frame, the daily time frame explains very very detailed of what is um currently happening on the monthly time frame. So as far as the market remains below this um box area here, we should be expecting further which the downside. Maybe if the market comes up here, we tap into this prior area of support to be used as resistance before we get a further push to the downside. So for the whole of September, I'm bearish on the dollar index. I don't care what the market is doing. Currently, we are currently pulling back. So for the whole of September, we are anticipating further push um, to the downside before we see a push to the upside on this dollar in there. So let's look at the other currencies like the pound dollar and then the um, euro dollar um, to see exactly what um, is happening on its less go. So um, on my screen, we have GBP USD, which is the first currency, the base, the first base currency we are going to be looking at as um, after we looked at the dollar index. GBP USD on the monthly time frame, we can see that the overall trend is very, very bearish though we are currently having some major, major pullbacks because um, whenever the market drops like this, we tend to have these major, major pullbacks before we tend to see um, a, a continuation of that particular trend to that particular um, direction. So no doubt, 
the GBP USD is still very much bearish because of the reversal pattern which we had on the monthly time frame, which is um the double tops. So the thing I want to highlight is uh, most um especially um people tend to use these chart patterns, which um I myself I was also in that category, which um those times I used to use these chart patterns, these candlestick patterns very, very wrongly without knowing exactly what I was doing in the market. So the chart patterns has to be, are to be used on the monthly and then on the weekly time frame, as well as the candlestick patterns, which are to be used on the monthly and as well as on the uh, weekly time frame. So the chart pattern we've seen on GBPUSD, which is a bearish pattern continuation to the downside, is a very, very important one we should definitely take note of because if you ignore uh, some of these things the market is showing you um, to follow, you are going to be on a very, very bad side of the market because you don't you don't want to lose your money. You don't want to lose your money to this market because you don't know exactly what is happening. You want to follow along and then be able to make some cool cash for yourself. You want to follow what the market is doing right from the three months time frame. You can see that GBP USD is very, very bearish. It's very, very bearish, given that the market has just been in a downtrend since 2006, since the collapse, since um, the um, collapse of the financial market. You can see where it tried to go above this um, trend line, and then it finally broke, came back to test it here, came down here to test it again, went back up, it didn't test it. Now we are currently expecting that um test right on this um this trend line uh, we are seeing from this point here so this is the first touch this this was the first touch we had this is a fake out this was the first touch we had then this is the second touch we are currently expecting a third touch and the third touch always does the massive trick which we tend to see the third touch longer than the first and then the second one which we are currently expecting anywhere from this one to here. If we do see a third touch of this um, trend line, this descending trend line, we are expecting um, GBP USD to fall um, a whole sum of, this is roughly about um, 5,000 pips. The downside is a massive one, it's a massive protection, um, quite right, but we are looking at the overall trend in the market. This is a massive projection and looking at GBP USD falling right to this area here which is 0 0.80 thousand it's going to happen but the only thing um is going to do is it's going to take quite a lot of time before it gets there it's going to consolidate it's going to take a lot of time before the market tends to um get to the overall direction trust me I've, I've been trading for over um a, a, a year now and then i know what i'm saying and then trust me I've, i'm a very very fast learner so for the whole of this month we are looking at um the bullish side of gbp usd given that we still have some room for the market to fill up before we see that bearish rush out downside hopefully we get um gbp usd retesting this area um for the third time before we see um, a collapse on GBP USD to the downside. So for now, we are expecting a bullish momentum for GBP USD. Though we are currently having a pullback on GBP USD for the whole of September, we should be expecting a continuation um, to the upside on GBP USD, given the current pullbacks we are having in the markets towards um, this level, this previous area of um, this is uh, this is a supply zone. So we should be expecting a further push to the upside when we have, when this pullback here is completed. When this pullback is completed, we should expect GBP USD to rally all the way to the upside again, testing this descending trend line for the third time before we finally get a break out of this counter trend line, which we drew from the monthly time frame. So this is my own bias for GBP USD, still bullish for this of September, given um, what the market has been constantly 
doing. Currently, we are pulling back to this area here to then continue uh, buying from this place up to the third arch of this trend line before we finally get a break out of this counter trend line. Then we sell all the way to the downside. Uh, remember, I said the overall trend for GBPUSD is still very much bearish, given uh, the price action the market has shown us for the past months now, for the past year since 2006, thereabouts, the market has been very, very bearish. This is roughly about 14 years. The market has been very, very bearish, given um, again since 2012, the market printed a double top. On the monthly time frame and then we collapsed to breaking a structural level breaking a structural level currently pulling back into um a prior era of a supply zone a massive supply zone this was a massive supply zone that led to the collapse of um, the right um, side of this double top breaking the structure we had previously around september 19 and also around may 2020. So this is a very, very massive projection on GBP USD. If this leg is completed, if this third touch of this trend line is completed, we should be having a massive projection to the downside, like I initially said. We should be having a massive projection to the downside, roughly about 5,000 pips to the downside. So for now, we are still focusing on the bullish side of GBP USD, giving um, what the market has shown us for the prior um, for the prior months of trading. So now we are currently trading above the psychological level of one to thirty thousand. You guys know what um, important psychological levels are to me because they are very very important. Looking at them helps you to know exactly what the market is doing. But now the market has broken above it, so we are waiting for. A retest of that psychological level um, with market structure. We have a market structure here, resistance level here. Resistance level, this served as a fake out that happened. The market trick traders came back and then pulled away the early sellers in the market. So for now, we are expecting a pullback um, around this previous area of resistance, resistance um, to use it as a support before we see GBP as a rallying back up to. Um, areas like 1.34696 before we see the continuation to the downside. So still still bullish on AUD USD short term. Sorry, still bullish on GBP USD short term uh, on the weekly and also on the daily time frame, but on the monthly time frame, we are very, very bearish. Let's look at the euro dollar, which is um similar to what we have on GBP USD. Also, maybe we can um also um see what I'm trying to um, proceed on GBP USD. Let's go. All right, looking at the euro dollar, we also have similar thing for what we had on GBP USD, which um, from the monthly time frame we currently have a very very massive downtrend, the condition to the downside, which um also still very much bearish on euro um on the euro USD pair because um. Take a look at from here. Yeah, I want you want to be looking at the overall direction, which we still have the overall direction to be to the downside, a massive declination. That if um, our criteria is met, we should be looking at um, we should be looking at roughly about from here to here, from here to here, we should be looking at roughly about four thousand pips to the downside. This is a massive. Um, trade idea on euro dollar but for now we are still very much very um, bullish on um euro dollar given what the market has been doing for the past couple of months now since 2023 we have been having a major but the reason is because after a collapse like this we normally tend to have a major pullback, which is um which the market tends to build up liquidity before we tend to see a continuation of that um, particular currency to the downside. Look at what it did back here in 2014. After we had this major collapse on the euro dollar, the market started consolidating. This consolidation led to this double top, which we have on the monthly um, time frame currently, which again, the market 
dropped a significant amount to the downside, which we had from around this area. The market went into absolute consolidation for a very, very long time, close to a year, up to a year now. The market has been in that consolidation phase, which I'm still very, very um, bearish on the euro dollar. But for now, looking at the daily and also the weekly time frame, we are still very much bullish, given um, we do have a counter trend line drawn on the monthly time frame. This is a very, very perfect counter trend line. So the criteria we are waiting for is just the opposite on what we saw on the um, dollar index. You can go back and watch it. Um, you know, the euro dollar is correlated to the dollar index, which if the dollar index is going down, the euro dollar tends to be moving up. And if the euro dollar is uh, going down, the dollar index tends to be moving up. So it's just a two-way something. So looking at this from the weekly time frame, we are currently having a major pull back to retest this area, a prior area of resistance before we see a continuation to the upside. So once we see um, a fair touch of this trend line coming back to the monthly time frame, we are expecting a fair touch. This was the first touch. This is the second touch. And we are expecting currently a fair touch of that trend line before we see that massive declination to the downside. It's a very, very simple setup, which I myself am also waiting on to take this particular trade idea to the downside. But for now, we are still very much um, bullish. For the whole of this month, we should be expecting that bullish momentum to continue going higher, to continue going higher. Once we tap into this level, we should be expecting that bullish momentum to continue going higher up to the third arch of this trend line. So awaiting the break of this counter trend line, which we have seen from the monthly time frame. So this is my own bias for the euro dollar, a very, very simple setup. Currently now, you look for buy opportunities once we once we pull back to areas like 1.09276 is a very very good opportunity to buy the euro dollar back to this trend line so mm -hmm. roughly from here from this zone to here we have about 350 pips which is a very very good one to capitalize from waiting the overall um the overall trend we have in the market so this is my own bias long term we are still very much bearish on the euro dollar but then short term we are bullish so for the whole of this month we should be waiting and then taking the buy opportunities and the euro dollar is going to be presenting to us given um, the situation at hand once we see euro dollar reaching this point and then we see a break of this counter trend line then we should be buying back into this uh, monthly trend line before we see a better trade opportunity for the overall trend going against the trend is very very wrong which is why we have been seeing a lot of consolidation happening over the months now i've been seeing a lot of consolidation happening over on the month now but rela um, regardless you are following your own trading plan. You are following your own trading plan. Like for me, if I'm following my own trading plan, I want to see the euro dollar rally or back into this trend line, back into this trend line, which we had the first touch here, second touch here, and then we are anticipating a potential third touch in the market to continue selling. Following your own trading plan, you should be trading with the trend. You should be trading with the trend. That is ideally what swing traders to should be trading with the trend so we had a very very shallow retreat right here which i still feel the market is coming back to take liquidity or we finally see the drop of the euro dollar to the downside so following the trend we should be waiting for the bearish opportunity on euro dollar given that this whole month of september is going to be um retracement and then bunch of consolidation into what we are expecting for the further um the further downside for the euro dollar so this is my own bias let's move on to the next currency pair we have so we have here the aussie dollar which is also a similar thing we are looking at for 
for the month of September. Um, we have the Aussie dollar. The Aussie dollar is a very is in a very very massive downtrend, starting from 2011 thereabouts. We've been seeing a massive declination to the downside on the Aussie dollar, which is a very very um, which is a very very um, good one for the Aussie dollar for a very very long time bearish momentum to the downside. You can see since this time here, yeah, the market has been in an absolute um, range for a very, very, we haven't even moved away from the previous areas which the Aussie dollar has um, left for the past couple of years since 2021. We are just in this range for a very, very long time. And for the whole of 2022, the whole of 2022 till now has just stuck under this resistance of 0 0.70 thousand. So from now, we are looking at a very, very massive projection for the Aussie dollar down to 0 0.50 thousand rise point around the major level of 0 0.50 thousand, which we have roughly about 1,000 pips to the downside, if I'm not mistaken. So from here to here, it's roughly about 2,000 pips, sorry. So from here to here is 1,000, and then from here to here is another 1,000. So looking at this from the monthly time frame, we know that the overall direction is to the downside, given the price action, which the market has um, illustrated for the last couple of months, the, for the last couple of years or so. And coming down to the weekly time frame, we can see that the Aussie dollar encountered a previous area of resistance, which we are currently seeing uh, price rejecting from that area. This counter, this is a counter trend line drawn from the monthly time frame from the bottom here across uh, this price action, which we've seen here for the last couple of months. This is a counter trend line. So I take this as a counter trend line, counter trend line drawn from this area to the top of that descending channel we have um, around that area. So what we have on the weekly time frame is of no doubt that um, AUD USD is headed to the downside already, but um, quite unfortunate for the other base currencies. Um, we are still yet reach that point where you will see that they are um, yet, they are already in that um, direction, which we are expecting them to continue going. Because for the AUD, yes, I'm going to expect a further push down before we finally touch the top of this descending trend line, which formed this descending channel, which will make it a third touch of this um, descending channel, which we had the first touch here, the second touch here, and then the third touch around this area, which will completely drive this market to the downside. It's a very, very simple setup, just like we had on the other currencies also. So we encountered, we encountered a, a, a previous area of resistance around this area here, resistance resistance and currently now the market is currently pulling back to around this area to kind of fill up the gap we have here before we see another um, touch on this trend line and then we wait for the counter trend line to break and then we sell off from here so for for the whole of um the whole of the month of september we should be looking at buying um aud usd wherever we see pullbacks we are going to be expecting pullbacks so this area of uh, supply zone, this area of demand zone, sorry, this is an area of demand zone we have in the market, a demand zone around this area, daily demand zone. So once we see the market coming down to here, we're expecting it to touch this. This should happen. Um, this should happen towards the ending of this month, of September. So once we see, the market coming down and we should be expecting another push up to the upside given that the overall trend is still to the downside and then looking at it we are expecting a massive declination on AUD USD in the next couple of um, weeks in the next couple of weeks so if you are a swing trader and you are very very patient with yourself you should be waiting for the continuation of this downward momentum, which you are following the trend, because you want to be a trend trader and 
that is what I am, a swing trend trader. That is what I am. So this is for AUD USA looking at the bullish um the bullish short term for it for the whole of this month, awaiting what is going to happen um towards the ending of the month, which we are expecting a touch, a third touch of the trend line from the monthly time frame. So it's a very, very simple setup. So next up we have here is the Euro CHF. Um, the United States dollar versus the Swiss franc, which is a very, very um, good pair also to be trading um, at this period of time, given um, um, the long term um, momentum or the long term um, direction is still very much bearish, given the price action which the market has currently um, placed out for us to trade from and also capitalized from the market. So looking at the monthly time frame, we can see that the market is in an overall um, trend reversal, which we haven't still made any new lows from the current state, which the market has been since 2011. So from the monthly time frame, we have price coming back to a previous area of support, a, a very, very good previous area of support around 0 0.84367, c 7 which is um, a, a very, very good previous area of support. So I'm looking at a long-term perspective for this back rallying into 1.10,000 or even surpass that area around 1.15,000, um, which is a very, very good uh, projection. We are going to be looking at for, for the month of September, given what the market has placed in front of us for the past for the past years now since 2022 the market has been in an absolute um, downtrend which we are currently seeing on the chart but for now we are looking at the complete trend reversal which from last week trading the market made a very very important um one for us to look at for and this exactly looks like a double bottom which we have the neckline around this area this looks like a perfect double bottom in the market and looking at this at the previous area of support we have a previous area of support around there the market has given us that um, pin bar reversal to the upside which we are going to be expecting a further momentum back into the prior area of resistance around there. And if this eventually breaks this, then we know our own, um, we know our own area of interest, which we are going to be focusing on. This is a long-term projection. It's a long-term projection from here to here is uh, roughly about 2,700 pips, which is a very, very good one. If anyone, uh, should be in this trade. So what I did was I drew a counter trend line from the top of here, across here. And also once we see, although we might still have a kind of bit of um, retracement from around this um, area here, which if you look at the market structure, you can see that this area is a very, very important resistance area in the market. So this area is going to be a very, very strong resistance for us to battle with, for the bulls and the bears to battle with, because before we will confirm this a complete trend reversal, the market has to come in here and then do the needful. The market has to come in here and then do the needful. But this is going to serve a very very strong resistance given that we have the support here we had this fake out above here the market retested drop down retested here again fake out market came back so we are currently expecting uh a pullback to this era before we see a further um, declination or acclination to the upside so for this i'm currently expecting that um the market to retest this area and then continue going down but looking at the long-term perspective we should be looking at the bullish side of it for the short-term perspective we should be looking at the bearish side of it but given we also have a chart pattern reversal which is the inverted head and shoulders here which i'm currently explaining to you guys so this is a two-way thing this is a two-way thing we should be looking at for 
in the market. So this area is going to serve as a very, very um, strong resistance for us in the next couple of days or even weeks. This area is going to serve as very, very strong resistance for us. If this area is broken, then we should know that our next target is towards 1.000. And then hopefully we get to see the market rally all the way to our own final level take profit, which is um, around 1.15,000. So it's a very, very good setup from the monthly time frame. Uh, the market has been bearish for um, for some time now, you can see a bunch of consolidation around this area. And then um, after this point, the market dropped. And then currently now we are at the previous area of support, previous area of support around this area. So we should be waiting. See that you join the buys from here, because the market has retested this trend line, retested again here. So you see that you join the buys here to around this area. And then even if you are joining, the buys, even if you are joining the buys from this area here, the buys from this area, your own target should be around this area here, and then your own, uh, your own stop loss should be around this area because it's going to be a very very um, tight wall between the bulls and the bears around this area. So. The long term perspective, looking at the bullish side of it, short term perspective, looking at the bearish side of it. Once we retest this trend line, which we have seen around this area. So, this is for USDCHF, a very, very simple and good setup. But before I will trade this, I must first of all confirm that my own bias is indeed right before. I will um, hop on on this. So the next currency I want us to look at is the USD JPY. No doubt the USD JPY has been in a very, very massive uptrend since 2020 around this year. It has been in a very, very massive um, uptrend since 2020. Now it's time for the bear market to step in, given that um, the yen basket is also still very, very strong, making that higher uh, momentum to the upside. And then you can see that um, we had this, we have this trend line, this channel um, from the monthly time frame, which price has been respecting for a very, very long time now. Whenever we come up here, it drops. Whenever we come down here, it rallies. And now we have currently tested this area, which for sure, Previously, we we had early sellers around this area, sellers around this area, and the market came up taking at liquidity of the early sellers around this area. Now it has closed back below this ascending channel, which we had from the monthly time frame. So what I'm expecting is for a further move to the downside. So a very, very massive move to the downside around areas like 120 dot zero 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 before we can see this rallying all the way to the upside so for the dollar yen i'm going to be looking for selling opportunities for the whole of the month of september so my own selling opportunity comes around this area here yeah? this will be a very very good area given that this is a previous area of resistance previous area of resistance previous area of resistance previous area of resistance. So I'm going to be looking for short opportunities around this area here. And if that does not hold um, quite enough, there's a daily supply zone we have around this area here. This is a daily supply zone we have around this area here. So if that does not hold, then we should be expecting a, a more rally to this area here to then sell from this area. It's a long-term perspective on the dollar yen, which is um, a very, very good trading opportunity for us to also capitalize on while we are also waiting for the other currencies to set up. So this is a fake out we had in the market. And you know, I love fake out so much. It um, is a very, very good way of trading. Uh, so currently now we've broken down below this counter trend line from this zone, from this zone. On this zone we've broken below it so we should come in here and then retest 
at the previous area of resistance. So I'm going to be looking for short opportunities down to this area. Yeah, it's going to be a very, very massive one. We have roughly about 3,500 pips to that side. So it's a very, very good trading opportunity for us to capitalize on long-term perspective, very short-term shares if I'm bullish. But the bullish on, I'm not going to focus on it because it's just from here to here or from here to around this area. So, but for now, I'm going to be looking for short opportunities on the USD JPY pair. Let's move on to the next currency pair, last but not the least. So for SD USD, <clears throat> SD USD is still very much um, bullish from the monthly time frame as we are seeing on the charts currently. On the monthly time frame, SD USD is still very much bearish. We should be expecting nothing um, less than bullish momentum for the month of September, given that the market um, is still right above the uh, psychological level of 0 0.60 thousand. You can see how the market has been struggling right above um, this area here. And even when it breaks down below, it comes back up. When it breaks down below, it comes back up. Even when it breaks down below, it comes back up. So. For SD USD, we should be looking for buying opportunities up to this level here, yeah? which will also give us a better trade opportunity. Given that this will be, this will serve as a dead touch of this trend line, this descending trend line, to so serve as a dead touch of this trend line to enter the street all the way to the downside. So for the whole of the month of September, we should be looking at our buying NZD. USD because NZD USD still is very, very uh, bullishly strong. It's very, very strong. And then you can see this counter trend line I drew from this area across this one, across here, and across here. Um, the market has currently broken above this trend line here. And then it's still maintaining its stance above that, uh, this counter trend line. We do have another counter trend line waiting for the market to reach around this area. And once we see the break, we are going to continue as the other base currencies also are telling us to do. So for NZD USD, it's a very, very interesting trade to trade to the upside, a continual buy to the upside. Once we see a tangible pullback around this area, around the neckline, once we see a tangible pullback around the neckline of this double bottom, which is a chart pattern reversal around this double bottom we have on the daily time frame and also potentially on the weekly time frame. So it's a very, very good trade opportunity from here, from Fibonacci from here to here. You should be expecting the markets to come back around this area or even so. We do have a four hour trend line drawn from this low here, across here. So we should be expecting, uh, we should be expecting a third touch of this trend line around this area, a third touch of this trend line to continue buying to the upside. Or more so, we have a Fibonacci play from this area to here. So once we see the market retrace uh, to this area here, yeah? this will be a very, very good confluence for us to enter this market to the upside. It's a very, very good confluence for us to enter this market to the upside. So we're expecting pullback around this area here. Yeah? Expecting a pullback to around this area to then continue buying for the whole of uh, September NZD USD, we are going to continue buying for the whole of September. So this is my own trade analysis. We still have very much room for this trade to continue all the way to the upside, which will have roughly about 600 pips to the upside. So this is all for NZD USD. Let's move on to the next currency pair, which is the USD card. USD card has been in an absolute uptrend for a very, very long time, but it's still for a pullback before we get a continuation to the upside. So given that we have 
price inside of this channel, which has been trading for a very, very long time now, since 2008, at the collapse of the financial market. You can see the collapse right around here, collapse all the way to the downside and then rallied um, for over 2, 12, 13, 14, for over seven years, rallied and then went into an absolute range around this area for over um, four to five years, the market has been in an absolute um, range. So currently now I'm expecting a pullback, this currency to retest this um, ascending uh, trend line, which we have seen since 2011, April to be precisely, which we have seen. So I'm expecting a pullback to retest this area before we see um, the dollar strength over the Canadian dollar um, for the next couple of months. So for the whole of September, I'm not going to be trading this currency at all. I'm solely going to be waiting for the market to come back into this area. When it comes back into this area, then this is where I'm going to be very much interested. But you can also take the short positions on this, given market structure, break and retest to continue selling all the way to the downside. But for me, I'm simply going to wait for the market to come back into this point here. Simply going to wait for the market to come back into this point here before we look for buying opportunities from this area to trade to the upside. So for the whole of September, I'm going to continue pulling back to this area here. The whole of September, I'm going to be looking for short opportunities uh, to continue selling, but as I said, I'm not going to be trading any counter trend trades for the whole of September. I'm just going to sit and then actually wait for the market to present a better opportunity to enter a trade opportunity. So, um, let's look at the next currency pair. Also, this is um, I think this is the second to the last currency pair we're going to be looking at for for this month. So for good, uh, we have come to the end of the um, forest market. Let's look at gold and also potentially we'll look at the uh, US oil also. So on gold from the monthly time frame, we have this trend line, which we have seen since 2014. Also this ascending channel, which started right around 2014, which we have been seeing price respect for a very, very long time. So for good, I'm looking at a very, very long, um, very sell-off for good up to this level here, 22.000, uh, which is 2,000 there about price points. Not all uh, selling pressure to come in to push this market all the way to the downside. And then since we broke above this psychological level of 2,000, the we haven't really seen the market coming back to retest this area. It has just been bullish for a very, very long time. We haven't seen the market coming back to retest this area. So what I'm expecting an overall selling pressure for good, we should come in here and then put in a low here before we see good skyrocket sitting to the upside. So for the, for the next coming days, we should be expecting the next coming weeks or even months, we should be expecting a massive sell-off for gold all the way to the downside. Yeah. Looking at what we have on the weekly time frame for gold, looking at what we have on the weekly time frame for gold, we have this counter trend line chart, which I'm still waiting for price to break. Once we get the break of this counter trend line, then that will be said to uh, know that we are expecting a massive sell-off for gold to all the way to uh, 2000 before we see the price action uh, reversal. And this channel has been respected for a very, very long time. I see the last time it came right above here, the market declined all the way to the bottom here. And then we saw the market rally all the way to the upside. Now we are selling at the previous area where the market are uh, rejected from. So we are still expecting that massive sell-off Hold all the way to the downside. Last week's trading closed as a very, very um, 
important bearish uh, pattern, which is a reversal pattern here. So we should expect a massive drop on gold for the coming weeks into months. We should expect a massive drop on gold for the coming weeks into months. So once I see a break of this counter trend line, it's going to be confirmed that uh, once we have a pullback, gold, note that we should be selling to take out liquidity that has been built up for the past um, years, for the past um, month or so. So I'm going to be expecting a massive sell-off of gold for the whole of September, which is a very, very simple setup, massive sell-off, massive bearish trend for the whole of September. Next up is the US oil, which is the last currency we are going to be looking at for, for the month of September. US oil, um, we have been in an absolute range. It has been in a particular direction. It has been in a particular direction for a very, very long time since 2008. Since we had the collapse of here, the market went into an absolute range. We haven't really had any uh, tangible trend at all. So looking at this, the market has been trading inside of this uh, ascending channel currently it broke down below it's trading inside of another uh, descending channel again so why i'm calling this bearish momentum of um, us oil down to 50 dollars per barrel is because of what the price action is currently uh, telling us uh, about the market and its specific direction in the next couple of days i'm calling out US oil down to $50 per barrel in the next couple of months. If that happens, then that would be a very, very um, good one, unless this whole uh, this whole breakout of this um, big ascending uh, channel is a fake out, this whole breakout. If we get to see a close back above this area, then this is going to invalidate this uh, particular descending channel which we have but for this now we are currently seeing a very very aggressive seller of um, us oil to 50 dollars uh, per barrel in the next couple so this is my own bias on us oil the next couple of months we should expect a bearish uh, bias and then for the month of september we should expect a continual um, direction to the downside to 50 dollars per barrel on us oil before we can find reversal patterns to the upside so i want to take this moment to thank god for the amazing um, talent he has given me in forex trading i really really learned so quickly even to my own amazement i didn't know it was going to be this uh, week for me to learn most of these things i've learned over that Take some people 10 years, 15 years to, to learn. I've learned it over one and a half years. So I want to take this moment to thank you guys, to thank everyone who is currently watching this video. And I pray you reach your own financial freedom as soon as possible. I love you guys very much. And make sure you trade less. Look at the higher probability setups for the month of september i will catch you guys in november love you guys peace out